And when it comes to Italian cooking, he's the man. Oh. It's your turn, Gino. OK, but you told them he's ten times the that I'm going to be on the show. <laughs> He knows everything that he learnt from his mama. Please welcome <laughs> again Gino De Campo. How much are we going to milk this one? <laughs> wow. We are milking this one like there is no tomorrow. Just stay, just stay, stay down. Down. No, no, Hang on, just stand up again. Okay. You are half the man you used to be. What's going on? What, what do you now you can that? sit down. Lost weight. Uh, lost lost weight. weight. A couple of kilos. Nothing more than that because I was in Sardinia. I came back two days ago. How do you lose and weight in Italy? No one loses weight. With all the pasta. You know what? You see, this is the question that everybody goes. How is that Italian people? They always look good and all of that by eating pasta, pizza, because we do it with moderation. Italian diet is not one of the, you know, everybody thinks pizza, pasta, no, it's risotto. it's really a healthy diet. It's a healthy diet. You just have to control the portion and what you put with it. Uh, yeah. But if you follow a proper Italian diet and you have a proper Italian cookbook, a proper <laughs> Italian... <laughs> When I say a proper Italian oh, cookbook, God, God. I mean... You mean like that talking one, you know? That's it. Cue the book. Cue the book. <laughs> now... So here it is. <laughs> She knows Italy like a mama used to make. Like right? a mama used to make. Yes. As, as, now, and, I, I have uh, to I like say, the these are my favourite kind of uh, cookery books because I love it when you have recipes kind of like going back through the generations, like grandma's favourite recipe and so on. There are some recipes there that they are about 80, 90. Why are you putting the book down? Because I'm going to talk <laughs> to you now. Put the book here so now, people can see. You're going to... You, you are feeling quite at home here, aren't you? Because I am, I am. Had I a am. Bit of a, you had a bit of a childhood dominated by women, I believe. I, I, I had the best childhood ever because I, I remember I never used to do the, th the things that boys do, you know, play football or go on the bike or get in trouble. I was always, always surrounded by my aunties, my female cousins, in a kitchen. And no men were allowed in the kitchen those days because they, they said that they, we make too much mess. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Fair but point. anyway, so always surrounded by women. And I remember... Uh, I, I've always loved women. Always loved. And, until today. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I find women so fascinating, what so you clever. What do until today? <laughs> No, un un two today. I always have women until today. Two, no, until two today. Two day. Two dates. Oh. Two dates, right? Uh, because I find women very clever, very, 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 really fascinating uh, uh, humans, and uh, and I like that. I like that. I feel and, more and... comfortable with women than men because men they're stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a conversation. After ten minutes, I get bored. And you say your granddad was a chef, but even he wasn't allowed in the kitchen. Not in the, <laughs> my, my grandmother's kitchen. No, no, no. He could have cooked for hundreds of people. But my grandmother would never allow it in the kitchen. Who does the cooking in my... your ass? In my? In your house. 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 <laughs> house. Wow. House. Who does the cooking in your house? What? In my house. <laughs> we. Uh, um, it, it's both. Jessica and I. We both do the cooking. Sometimes Luciano, my older son, gets involved. Uh, but I remember my grand, uh, my father. The only thing that he was allowed to do in the kitchen is to grate Parmesan cheese. Because my mum, she didn't want to ruin her nail on the grater. <laughs> so you would see this man, after the day of work, in the corner in the kitchen, grating the cheese away. Yeah. And uh, that's it. That's, uh, that's uh, Show the book again. Gina, Later. I'm enjoying, I'm Later, enjoying watching behave. your like mama used to make. And I, I like the way that you said that you were inspired to cook because of all the women, because of all the women yeah. around you. What's your favourite recipe, if you could give one? In the book. No, no, get in book. the book. Forget the book. Well, I'm hoping it's in the book. Have you it's written a book? book? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> What's my favourite recipe generally? In no, the book. In the book. Okay. In, the book. in the book. I can't tell you. I'll tell you what I can't tell you. It's a very difficult uh, answer to give because it's like saying, uh, I'd rather you ask me which one is your favourite child. I can do that. <laughs> but recipes, I can. I can. My little girl. <laughs> yeah. The other two. There's but, a, um, two recipes. The thing with recipes is, is, is depend how you feel. Sometimes I feel that I like fish, so I go for a fish recipe. Sometimes I eat meat. I, it's, it's, it's a very difficult one. In that particular book, the is one there a that, book? <laughs> the one that I'm plugging today okay. <laughs> is uh, a recipe I'm going to do tonight. Is the uh, bistecca alla fiorentina which is a beautiful steak, it's quite thick, that you cook in a certain way, so mm. it's quite technical, but very easy to follow. And we do that with a beautiful salsa verde and Italian roast potato with garlic, rosemary. Oh, lovely. That sounds beautiful. I'm just thinking if my boys wrote a book called Like a Mama Used to Make, it would be 
toast. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Well, you don't cook. I'm not very good well, at it, Gino. But who is the cook on the panel? I'm I not am. very good at it, Lincoln. Yeah, so you're, 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 you're a good cook. Brenda, Brenda okay. is my cook. Okay. Well, can't you? All right. Really. I, 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 can, I have to, I'm a very prescriptive... If I've got a book in front of me and I follow it religiously, yeah. but I'm not... I'm good at packing. Right, show me, show me how you would... Oh, here we go. If you've got a book in front of you... If I had... This book. book in front of me. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to keep showing it. I'll show it later. Sorry. All right. Can I just say, sure. Italian food sounds so romantic, and you're a bit of a romantic, I hear. You've done a, you did something with your lovely wife recently. I do many things. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> What are you on about? You, no, as in your anniversary <laughs> renewal. Oh, last year, yes. Oh, last year we did uh, uh, 20 years we've been together. I've been with my wife for 28 years. Wow. Yes. Uh, and no, no, actually, it's, uh, there is no need for Why that. Why did you take so long to propose? No, it took me a couple of years to propose, and then I just had to save the money uh, to, ah. to, to, to make sure that she was okay. So that my wife <laughs> was my first girlfriend I had, second actually. Uh, first girlfriend that actually got some action. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because Good. I came from the south of Italy, so I was a, a young boy. I, w I went in Spain to cook as a chef. She used to be the waiter. She was the first English woman I ever met. Blonde, you know, <laughs> quiet. Uh, and uh, and uh, we, I, used to, I used to go in the fridge to, to sort it out my meat for the rest, and she used to put the butter there for the waiter. So she, we used to meet in the fridge all the time. <laughs> And, uh, so our love, our love kind of uh, blossomed in a meat fridge. So, <laughs> so what happened? Which for a man, them. which for a man, uh, sir, guys, you know that. It's not very good when it's cold, is it? No. <laughs> but listen, I, I went through and, and wow. I... No, I mean, no, I mean, I went through wow. with the kissing and all of that. A and, very, oh, very... Oh, don't worry about that. It's very fine. quickly, because we've got one minute left and you okay. work in television, so you know the importance of timings. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your boy, because you talk about all the women in your life, but your son might follow you. Uh, Luciano? Yeah. yeah, Luciano's got uh, already two restaurants. Older the Edge, where I live. Older the Edge. Are you yeah. living older yes. the Edge? Have you gone to the of New Of course Edge? I oh, have. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so he's got two restaurants, and they all want to follow me. I don't think Rocco is going to go into the restaurant business, to be honest. He wants to do management and stuff like that. And my little princess, Mia, uh, at the moment is only about dancing and, and, and TikTok and stuff yeah. like that. Well, so fantastic. I have no idea what she wants well, to do. Well, it's been lovely to see you. The pleasure and, uh, is mine. As Gino mentioned... Ah, you don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't really... They, they got it, they got it. Gino this is uh, like, ma like Mama used to make out now on the TV show on ITV yeah. on Sunday at 4 One second, I just got an announcement. That is it. Come on, that's it.